This video is the first in a new series I'm putting together all about MCP servers with AI tools. What are they, when and why you'd use them, and how you can use them and even make your own to help you with data and analytics when you're using these AI tools. Now I know this can be a technical topic and quite complex and nuanced, so we're going to be starting from the absolute basics and working our way up, adding complexity over time. If this is a series that you find interesting and useful, please do let me know in the comments because then I know to make more of these videos, of course. Now before we get started, I want to explain a little bit some of the requirements and prerequisites, things that you need in order to follow along, including some software and other stuff. So we're going to be using Visual Studio Code or VS Code, which is a free code editor from Microsoft. And it's also one of the ways that we can interact with large language models through GitHub Copilot. So with VS Code, so if I open the window here, it looks like this. If I press uh, Shift Control I, we can pop out this Copilot window where we can interact with Copilot and we can even change the models to different models, including those from different organizations like Anthropic or Google or OpenAI. So GitHub Copilot and VS Code is one of the ways that we can actually use MCP servers. And it is actually right now, I believe the most feature rich host application, meaning that you can do the most things with it. And I'll show you some examples of that later, but uh, it is not the only tool that you can use for this purpose because we're also going to use Claude Desktop. Now, Claude Desktop is also available on Windows or Mac. It has a very simple user interface where you can enter a prompt, it will respond. It can also create uh, images and it can create visualizations it's known as artifacts and even files potentially that you can use, but you're only going to have access to the models from Anthropic. And actually, even though the model context protocol or MCP is something that comes from Anthropic, Claude Desktop doesn't support all of the various MCP features as of now. So, which is also why we're using VS Code. So you'll also need to make sure that you download and install Python. So Python is important because all of the servers and the code that I'm going to give you is written in Python. And all of this code is available from a public GitHub repository. It's set to private right now because I'm putting everything together. But the link to that will be down below in the description of the video. So you can go there and you can retrieve this information. If you have never used GitHub before, I understand it can be confusing and complicated. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make a GitHub account, and then you're going to need to download and install Git. So this is going to allow you to retrieve these files and make sure that you have the most up-to-date information. For example, if I change something or if I add some new files so that you can just sync those onto your local computer. So how do you do this? Well, you're going to go in VS Code and you're going to click here on the little person icon and when you do so, you'll be able to, in this box here at the top, set up authentication for your GitHub account. So you have to make sure that you sign in to GitHub. So as we see here, so I'm signed into GitHub. And once you sign into GitHub, you next need to open the terminal and you need to set up your identity. So you can do that by entering here. So I have the information here, I'll put it in one line. So git config global username, and then your name. And then you will also have to put uh, your email. So I'll just delete this other bit. So git config global user email and with your email that corresponds to your GitHub account. So you can see that here. So this is gonna set up your identity for Git. So this is just the configuration. It's something you're going to need to do before you use it. But once you do that, I'll close this now, close the terminal you'll be able to clone a repository. And what this is going to do is it's going to let you retrieve those files from the repository I showed you that you'll use in order to follow along with these videos onto your local computer. So if you click this button, then we can go back here, code, we can get this link, copy it, and then we can go to Visual Studio, we can paste it, and then we can clone from that URL, and we can put that anywhere on our desktop computer in order to retrieve those files and have them be up to date. So if I just go in a temporary folder here and then select that as the repository destination, it's going to clone them. We're going to open it. And then we have all of those files available on our local computer. 
And any time that I make an update, you can then be able to synchronize to retrieve the latest information so that you have the latest up-to-date information uh, from that repository that I've put there. Okay, so those are the things that you're going to need to do in order to follow along. Uh, that is it for the introductory video, just kind of explaining the scope, the breadth of this course, explaining the requirements. In the next video, this is lesson one, what we're going to do is we're going to explain what a MCP server is and how you can actually use them, including a remote server, for example, that of Microsoft Docs, and a local server, such as one of the ones that you'll be able to download here and use. Okay, so I will see you then in that next video. Have fun, I guess, uh, whatever.